All right. Oh, oh God. I almost tripped. I almost tripped on my own pants. That would have not been good. So, hello, this is me again, Vincent. Welcome back to another trailer reaction in quite some time. And I just realized that the vi that the trailer we're looking at is loading, actually. So, let's actually not worry about that. But, um, what we should worry about is, um, the fact that what we're doing here today, though. So, I was originally going to have this, um... Uh, those clever openings I usually do or something stupid I have for these, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything in time So I just said I'll just go with it and not do anything like that at all though. That's for later stuff So right now we're gonna get into this um, Right here because um, Back a few years ago um, I, I think it was last year or the year before there was the announcement of this movie uh, way beforehand though and everyone was confused about it until now they had these trailers so um of course we're reacting to fuck it we're reacting to um the official teaser trailer and the um official uh trailer to transformers rise of the beasts and i kept calling for the longest time transformers rise of beasts i forgot there's a duh in there all the time i don't know why i put out the the in the title though it just sounds better transformers rise of beasts instead of rise of the beasts like I don't know but um this won't be i before i actually start the video um before i actually sat down and um start recording here real quick i was trying to figure out like did i do transformer stuff before in the channel and i was like yeah i did do transformer stuff um way back before i did some transformers content um a few years ago back when the bumblebee movie was coming out no um actually so this won't be the first transformers video i've done but this will be the um like a proper video on the Transformers property because um, since that first movie back in 2009, I've been a huge fan. I, of course, I didn't grow up on the original cartoon until like years later um, when I was younger and I actually saw some of it though. But um, the thing that got me into Transformers was those Michael Bay movies as much as um, uh, people complain about them and talk about them as much. So I've been um on the journey since that first movie and it, if it wasn't for transformers the first movie um i wouldn't have been into giant robots that i am into like of course godzilla was the thing that introduced me to all this that you see behind me and everything but if it wasn't for transformers i wouldn't be into stuff like um like the power rangers though or pacific rim or anything else that i'm trying to look around um the room or any of those other things i have a shelf you guys probably know for the past few years i've just dedicated to my transformers um collection i had over the past few years since that first movie so um so i've been a big fan of transformers though um i saw that first movie though um years ago i didn't see it in theaters the only one i saw in theaters was um transformers 3 dark of the moon which actually was good um transformers 2 uh was not is not my favorite still it, it's not the best i think i have to rewatch it though so maybe uh, i'll change my opinion but as i sit right now it's not the best in my opinion uh transformers 3 like i said is good um the fourth movie uh, age of extinction is what i wanted to see back like in 2009 um with the dinobots so and everything but it's a it, it's okay if you would ask me before i wouldn't say yeah it's the best this is one of the better uh best transformers movie at that time but now that we're in this day and age i said like now i say like it, it's it's okay it's cool it has action sequences and some of the, the interesting things and concepts going on but most of it's just wasted uh in execution at least in my opinion uh last night uh the um last one in the bay former series or the the michael bay transformer movies um it wasn't the best it was more disappointing than anything because those trailers uh really made it seem like it was gonna be some uh cool shit but in actuality some only a little bit of that movie was ever um cool 
And then finally, for like big Transformers fans like I am, I'm honestly more of like a casual Transformers person. Though, again, I've seen some of the cartoons, I've seen some of the shows and things, but not like the majority of stuff that people like know about where the Transformers are based on. Though, I only have like very much a uh, little of um uh knowledge of transformers but i do know a lot though um for the casual person i'm not i'm more i'm more of a casual fan of well fucking no i'm a diehard fan honestly because like most of the stuff if i was a casual person i wouldn't be able to tell you who was who and what was what though if i was sitting here honestly um and then when bumblebee came out bumblebee was what the first movie or the first few movies should have been that it actually had some story and heart it wasn't it had cool action but it actually had the transformers be the transformers for once and actually had them um, uh, pretty interesting and a good story though as well and some good actors in there and really cool designs that go back to their original uh, g1 cartoon forms or the forms that they look like when they were the toys that transform the action figures though because the original transformers cartoon was made just to sell toys like a lot of those hasbro cartoons from the 80s like ninja Tur or well ninja turtles wasn't hasbro but my point is like a lot of those cartoons were made um because they had toys to sell with them like in humanoids so uh ninja turtles gi joe uh he-man uh, a lot of those um a lot of those cartoons from back then that were like that but now i think this is supposed to be a sequel to bumblebee because it takes place in the 90s no, since uh, the first Bumblebee movie in this new reboot timeline, uh, or semi-reboot, I'm not sure. Um, uh, it took place in the 80s, that last movie. So now this one is taking place in the 90s. And Bumblebee is in this movie, but more upgraded like every other Transformers movie. They upgrade the characters, though, at least. But now a bunch of other characters are in here. Like, uh, of course, you have Optimus Prime now finally back in his G1 live-action appearance. And as well as that this movie is based on the uh, animated uh, cartoon series um, Transformers Beast Wars, which I didn't grow up with, but I knew what it was for a few years, though, because of all the characters and the, the things that the um, different um, uh, Cybertronians uh, transformed into, though. I did see a little bit before I actually watched this, um, this trailer or knew this movie was coming out. Or actually, no. I did watch it when I heard this movie was coming out and those these trailers were out because I was curious. I saw clips of it by seeing like a little bit to get the idea of what it is. And honestly, with me, it might be obvious. So like, it's very, it's very uh, horribly animated for back then, for early, early uh, CG back then. But it's a lot of fun. It's goofy. It's silly, and and it's pretty good action. It's done by the people who did um uh, the Scary Godmother movies back on Cartoon Network. The same people who made the the animation for that though at least with the animation on those movies look a little bit better than this though but um you had the toys for those and all that the whole gimmick of uh, the beast wars was that um transformers typically turn into cars and helicopters and jets and stuff in beast wars you had uh, characters like optimus primal who was the optimus prime of the universe who would like turn into a gorilla his main uh form was like a gorilla and then he turned into his robot uh cybertronian form so at least so and same thing with like all the other characters they transform into like dinosaurs and like birds and insects and all and rhinos and all types of crazy stuff though no, so it's sort of like the dino bots but if they made everyone into a bunch of other wacky crazy animals and prehistoric uh creatures almost so so with this i think that's a long enough uh intro for that i think this might be a long intro for what i was trying to get to though but um basically what we're gonna do is one of these uh compilation reactions where i take um two or three different trailers of the same movie and we're gonna react to them back to back so we're gonna react to the official teaser trailer first and then we're gonna react to the official trailer for transformers rise of the beast so i'm pretty much done here so i'm pretty excited i did see a clip from this movie and I have some opinions, but it might be the same as a lot of other people's opinions, but I'll get into it once I get into the end of the video and the discussion uh, part of the video. So um, so now we're going to jump right in. So this is the official teaser trailer for Transformers Rise of Beasts, or Rise of the Beasts, my bad, um, by Paramount Pictures, uh, coming out actually uh, today. Um, but, but at the time of this recording, it is coming out on Friday of 
what's what's today um june 10th i forgot now it comes out though um on the day this video this uh reaction is coming out so enough blabbing i want to see what this is about hopefully there won't be too much in these though but at least maybe a general idea again of the story and what to expect from this movie this new transformers movie that seemed kind of like i thought rise of beast was going to be a sequel to the bayformer universe but thankfully it's a semi i think supposed to be a sequel to bumblebee which is a great thing anyways because bumblebee is uh one of the better transformers movies though honestly so uh let's jump right into this and react to the damn trailer i'm done talking That's transformed. Oh, there you go. Oh. Stand down. I'm not the one to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. Oh, Sky Dance, huh? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's like the first Transformers. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh wow. There's RC. From both your past and future. Oh look at that. You've never faced anything like this. Let them come. Whoa, okay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that looked pretty cool right there. Alright, so now... Wow, after that, okay. Now let's see what the official uh, trailer has now. Yeah, the official trailer. So now this is the official trailer for uh, Transformers Rise of Beasts. So let's see. Oh, that looks cool. Wait, what? Again? <laughs> okay, 94. Alright. Oh, there's Bumblebee. Yep. In the end, everything you cared for will be consumed. Maybe there's another way to save our home. You've never faced anything like this. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so cool. Let them come. Oh, scorpions. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, what? What the what the hell was that? Hold on. They're giving the humans attachments now? He gave him a a wrist blade thing. He gave him a thing gave him a suit, kinda of saw it in the last few seconds there. Okay, that's pretty interesting now. Oh wow. Hmm. This seems pretty cool. <laughs> this honestly looks, uh, in honest thoughts, um, it looks like the last few Transformers movies we had before. Um, except now they're actually having uh, Unicron come to Earth instead of Earth being Unicron. Um, now so we have that whole thing of the story of like okay some big bad villains coming as well as either cybertron or unicron coming to earth and we're gonna take over earth and destroy it including you motherfucking autobots and you human beings because we don't like you and the whole th and the same thing of like humans teaming up with the autobots and, and um optimus prime and his crew knowing everything um it seems like the same kind of uh, plots we've been seeing in the last few Transformers movies rather than the uh, Bumblebee last time where it was the start of the Transformers to start coming to Earth to bring uh, their battle from Cybertron to Earth at least though and the human stuff seemed more interesting there unlike here where it feels like the first movie um, where I believe Mirage though am, am I, yeah Mirage um, and the main actor here I don't know who he is though um, so forgive me um okay i'm looking for that okay there we go um i mean actor here seems like the first transformers movie as well as bumblebee where it's like oh the human finds the certain ca car character or the certain uh, autobot and it's uh the car going by itself and doing all kinds of stuff and start hanging out with them and they're, they're all cool buddy buddy type of thing except now it's not bumblebee bumblebee seems to be more pushed to the side at least in these trailers to me Though he's not like predominantly like the secondary character that he's always been in the last few movies, especially the um the last movie. I'm gonna keep talking about Bumblebee. So, um, since that last movie, Bumblebee, where he was the predominantly main character, since Optimus Prime was not that much there in that in that movie. Now Optimus Prime is here. Optimus Prime, you can't lie. Peter Cullen is like 81 years old, and he, he's still amazing as Optimus Prime. Like anytime you hear his voice. It, it's it's amazing though with all that but um other than that seeing the other characters like wheeljack is pretty cool um rc i wanted to see rc um in the g1 form since that um uh bumblebee movie i wanted to see a couple of those autobots um in some of these movies more often since some of them do only show up for a bit in a lot of the other movies um but there's some that i do always want to see but they're not really doing a lot of them but that's fine with me as long as they get a couple in there and it doesn't seem like the big crew like they usually have but it's cool seeing a lot of the um uh what you call them the maximals though here um you have like the eagle the cheetah um i don't know most of their names so forgive me um i think uh the rhinos rhinox in here and you have optimus primal um obviously looking super cool especially at the end of this uh teaser trailer right here where he where they're running um all in he trent and he, he's they're running in and he transforms from his uh gorilla form into his uh his uh robot form that's pretty cool looking and it is actually honestly i'm not gonna lie pretty cool that they're finally using unicron in a more actual better way than what they've been doing in the last movie especially again like i mentioned earlier um but to me it seems like um, some of the other Transformers movies, though, besides Bumblebee, where the human stuff 
doesn't seem like it's gonna be super interesting or super important though like a lot of these movies are not well developed though it's gonna be the Autobots and all that stuff since they're showing a lot of cool action in here and again seeing like all the different characters transform and actually look like the characters from the cartoons to an extent and as well as Bumblebee um, here uh, transforming and looking a little bit different in design than again that last movie that we had him in. He still has to look the way he does but he still has the same helmet and he's a different car this time around and as well as the other Autobots and as well as um, Optimus Prime is a semi different looking uh, I believe a semi truck I don't know though he doesn't have his trailer still so I don't know about that but it looks cool overall I like the way this movie looks and the action that they got going on here and all the different characters they got I'm just kind of worried about the story and that um the fact that they're reusing a little bit too much from the last few movies though but i guess the added addition of actually having the maximals in there actually seems pretty cool though but the one question i am been wondering why is optimus prime optimus primal two separate characters aren't they technically the same character like wouldn't you think you kind of put both of them together instead of having like two two separate characters because again like it's cool how again um uh optimus primal transforms here this bit but it's like basically the same character but one's a gorilla though and has like different weapons over here like crazy ass weapons you just pull some shit out right there um but i don't i know the villain is supposed to be scorn and as well as that some of the transformers toys for this movie uh have a megatron as well as a render of megatron though i might pull it up somewhere right here in editing um they have renders of megatron so are they spoiling the movie or is that um like one of those toy movie spoiler things or is it just a toy thing or is megatron going to show up maybe in a post credit scene or something to an extent in this movie so because i hope so i really want to see uh new megatron like old style g1 megatron now the um all that um stuff that i just said got gotten out of the way a little right there so um basically what i'm saying is that um it it looks like a fun theater experience a movie to shut your brain off and actually enjoy and have fun but the only thing is like i'm saying like again it's taking a lot from those last movies and combining it with bumblebee a, a bit it feels like the same stuff we've seen before but with a new added element though but the added element might actually make it interesting and again we, uh we don't know because i haven't seen the movie and no one else has seen the movie yet so we'll see once i actually see the movie if i actually be uh it'll take all these elements in uh uh into consideration or it'll just be a fun movie where that stuff's there where it's like oh that's a shame that they did that but the action sequences and uh the stuff in there and the, the cg is cool but and the characters the autobots and the decepticons and everyone themselves now to get to, to the main thing everyone i've been hearing since these trailers came out is the cg itself do i think it looks bad no not really i'll say not really because again, like a lot of people could myself say, movie trailers are not the finished movie. So most of the CG we're seeing in both of these trailers are probably not the finished movie. So once we see the movie, maybe, hopefully a lot of this will be polished up and look more convincing because um, some of it looks really cool. Again, where, they, where um, they're fighting and they have the whole uh, sequences in CG, like in a CG environment that looks cool or when they're transforming though and the, the duplication of the, the cars that's the cool thing that actually seems pretty cool and the gauntlet that seems interesting like i said um and like a lot of the stuff like where they're falling off the the bridges and fighting each other and jumping all over the place that seems fine though like that seems like pretty good or like this shot um some of these shots here like where you see um different characters in different areas though or something though like it depends on the lighting i guess though but some other stuff though a bumblebee getting stabbed right there like this shot that, that sequence i'm talking about that looks fine like that looks pretty good though but certain shots i think it's daytime shots a lot of, a lot of these like um uh well i don't even think it's the daytime shots because um where is it the sequence right here where bumblebee 
is transforming the lighting doesn't look right to me and the way he, like the way the lighting kind of looks it looks like it it's kind of floating there like it has a digital shadow like it doesn't exist in that that space or even the last trailer over here where the guy flies out of the of mirage the car in the garage and optimus prime shows up though that kind of seems a little questionable but even especially like when optimus prime here and uh optimus primal uh meet over here that doesn't seem very good and there's even a video i had to add um a video where they have these life-size statues these amazing huge statues for the promotions of the movie of optimus primal optimus prime in scale and it's kind of funny that one of the actors says that they're actually in scale and they're showing us how where we should have been looking opposed to where we were looking and he said that on camera and i was thinking like mm, that's not a good sign because like that meant that you guys didn't know where to look or how big these things were so i'm so excited about these statues because it makes me realize where i actually should have been looking when we were shooting the movie if you realize where i actually should have been looking when we were shooting the movie if you realize where i actually should have been looking when we were shooting the movie if you realize where i actually should have been looking when we were shooting the movie like when optimus primal's jumping around here that looks a little green screen looking and even especially when he the, the water effects on him uh and the uh, the fake water look pretty good but when he splashes that water onto the two character the human characters in front of him they're not affected by the water that's hitting them they're still completely dry and they're not looking at the area where he should be eye to eye almost though like he's not there <laughs> Though, and even when Optimus Prime like jumps in, he's like, stand down over here. It looks a little weird though. Like it, it, it's kind of fugly, I guess the word would be. It looks a little, a little strange to me. And uh, I'm going to go to the, the official trailer. There's another shot that I said in the beginning that looks a little weird. Um, uh, yeah, right here when they're going through the forest and stuff, Optimus Prime was going on the branches and stuff. Oh, and once he jumps into frame there, he clipped through a tree! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he, wait, hold on. This is live right now. Hold on, he jumps, grabs a branch, he jumps through. The lighting is not really hitting him. Yeah, the lighting is not... He's, he's clipping through the tree. He clipped through a tree branch. They couldn't animate him hitting it or even jumping over it. His dick is like, his balls are like hitting that tree branch right there. Wow. And yeah, and then when he's running, okay. See, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just some parts of this are questionable. Look, even after that, this shot of them walking through the river, that looks fine. That looks cool. I guess it's just some of the lighting issues, like I said, like uh, some of the the lighting and the way they rendered everything, maybe. And it's by the studio Skydance. That's why I'm saying a lot of this stuff, because Skydance had had their own animation studio. They've done the movie uh, Luck last year, though, and Skydance has done a bunch of other films afterwards uh, or before that. So I'm wondering if they had some animators over there who they wanted them they're like okay we're getting you guys right we're gonna have you guys work on animated movies to make the cg effects for our live action movie though to look as convincing as possible and also the twin towers i just realized are there <laughs> it's 94 and the, the movie takes place in the 90s 94 and i'm looking right at this this frame here uh, uh the twin towers right there so that's pretty funny oh uh, um right there I feel like even like um over here um when uh, optimus prime is walking through like i guess a parking lot it seems like though um even some of the facial animations here like optimus prime will look fine though they look pretty cool though but again it's just weird like i guess the inconsistency of the, the animation but like i said i hope this is not a factor in the actual movie and uh, most of this will be cleaned up and done yeah okay that looked terrible <laughs> when he flies out the car in slow motion <laughs> he just he just kind of goes wait look he kind of goes goes like this 
And then it, you can tell like they cut to a live action portion of that. That didn't look all that great. I just don't think the CG looks fine. I'm saying most of, this, most of the CG looks fine in spots. The same sequence. Mirage is transforming. That looks cool. I'm fine with that. That looks fine. I'm looking at it in slow motion right now. It looks fine. But then something like Optimus Primal jumping through the forest, clipping through a tree branch. That's questionable. Like, it's good to... I'm torn myself. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like incriminating myself farther and farther as I talk. So overall, um, some of the CG is questionable, um, though. But hopefully, by the actual movie, it will be cleaned up and it'll actually look. Oh shit! Uh, shut up! Hold on, <laughs> you cut me off. Um, hopefully, most of it will look better than the trailers having it. it hopefully, it'll be polished up and look great. Again, a lot of spots look very cool but some of the cg is just questionable in spots or it's not fully done yet though but and as well as that um i'm uh kind of cautious of the story though on what they're doing here with um the movie itself though with taking so much from a lot of the other movies and putting it together i just honestly i'm i'm pretty excited for it i'm just gonna go and see this movie for fun action and having it a good time in the theaters with seeing the transformers back again and as well as having optimus prime in the movie uh and hopefully megatron and a lot of these characters we haven't seen yet in a movie or seen in like a, a minute actually in transformers media um i'm just looking forward to it it looks really cool the action looks great most of the CG looks pretty cool. I'm just worried on the human side of the story and the fact that they kind of recycled so much from the last few movies. I just hope it'll at least all balance together and one thing won't overweigh the, the negatives won't overweigh the positive, though. I'm hoping for a fun uh, Transformers action film from this one. So overall, I'm pretty excited for this. It's just Op Op Optimus Primal is <laughs> clipping through a tree. <laughs> Uh, he's clipping uh, But let me know what you guys think though enough of me blabbing though. Uh, what do you guys think though? Um, let me know you guys opinions in the comments below. Do you disagree? Do you agree with my opinions? Uh, did anyone catch Optimus Primal clipping through that tree though? I can't be the only one who slowed this trailer down and actually look at that I, I, I that just happened right in front of me too. Oh wow, but all right, I'm gonna stop talking about that. But anyways, let, you know, let me know what you guys' opinion is in the comment section below. Though you can check out um, everything else now to sell out uh, all my shit. Um, you guys could check out my social media um, uh, links in the description though to follow me on all my social medias. I just said social media twice. Um, you can follow me all there on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. And as well as you can check them out on my box section on my YouTube channel, on the YouTube banner for all my links there. And you can visit my T Public account where you can find all my t-shirts and all my artwork with you guys buying all my stuff like the, the shirts and everything. It does help support the channel and it shows that you guys um, really like the artwork and stuff though. And as well, you guys could check out my trailer reaction playlist for reactions like this one though and all the other ones I come out every Friday. So just know that right there. Um, it, they come out every Friday though now with the new schedule going on and everything else happening so yep so if you guys enjoyed and last thing i will say is that the for a teaser for the next one uh next time i'm excited to check out this trailer though because i have a lot of opinions on this one so next time we will go we will be or next week i should say we will be we will be reacting to the five nights at freddy's official teaser um trailer from blumhouse pictures so we're going back to blumhouse and we're going to uh freddy's to see what the fuck is going on over there so yep so that'll be for next time uh next trailer reaction so hope you guys enjoy your content subscribe thumbs up thumbs down watch videos with me next time i'm out of 5000 and i'll see you guys all next time i'm out of here i'm out of breath think i'm optimus primo's clipping through a tree <laughs>